watch out. Here we go. Someone would answer the door, of course. What do you want? I would like to see the Lady Dragon, please. Dragon Lady cannot see you. Ridiculous! I would mind where you uniformed catfish. Go away, old lady. Oh, lady, would you? You just... You try to kill me, I fix you. Come on, you wild-eyed demon. What is going on here? She tried to kill me, mistress. <laughs> With an umbrella. Perhaps I should post an army at my door. What is it, madam, that makes your call so urgent? What I have to say is private. So you are the famed Lady Dragon. Very attractive. I am known as the Dragon Lady. I dare say the Dragon Men are very happy over the arrangement. My name is Martha Witherspoon. One of the Vermont Witherspoons. I am honored, madam. Will you sit down, please? Oh. I have been told that you could help me. A gentleman I met on the ship suggested my coming to see you. This gentleman's name, madam? He said you would remember him by the name of Bartlett. Roger Bartlett. I am familiar with that name. Mr. Bartlett said you make a private blend of tea for your own use. Yes. Ling Ho, that is right. Yes. Oh, I'd be so grateful to you if you'd sell me, say, ten pounds of this Ling Ho tea to take back to New England with me. When must you have the tea, madam? Oh, at once. I'm flying to Hong Kong in a little over two hours via cafe. I believe that's what Burma called it. Burma? Oh, my chaperone. She knows more about the Orient than your government information bureau. If I am to prepare the special blend, I must begin at once. What a charming home you have. Oh, of course I want to pay you for the tea. You can pay my man when he brings it. I shall not disappoint, Mr. Bartlett. You will have your tea. I declare, Lady Dragon, you are positively circular. I am what? Burma's been teaching me the improved version of Webster's English. That means I'm pleased to have met you. In that case, madam, you are also positively circular. Thank you. As for you, knobhead, you're a drip. Yes? This is Roger Bartlett speaking. Under the circumstances, Mr. Bartlett, some positive identification would be helpful. You got a letter from me yesterday? Perhaps if you could tell me what the letter says. Enclosed, please sign $30,000 American with which to buy the Ling Ho collection of emeralds from Han Chi, the jeweler. That is good enough. You received a visitor a while ago? A very short while ago, she made a most unusual request for tea, the Ling Ho blend. You agreed? Of course. Put the emeralds in the package you give her. She'll carry them for me to Hong Kong. Once there, I'll get them back. A very clever plan. You will, of course, assume responsibility till the stones are in the plane. Of course. Thank you. Give me air cafe, please. I'll be right over, immediately. Or as they say, west of Peking. Pronto, my little buckaroo. I got to take off. This babe wants to see me. Uh, the dragon lady should know you call her a babe. Who said anything about the dragon lady? You don't have to, Chops. When you speak to her, a certain look comes into your eyes. 
It's a cross between a dollar bill and a pouch of gold dust. I'll see you later. I gotta take off. Uh, what's the dragon lady want with you, Chops? Well, she wants me to teach her the Charleston. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Old boy's in good spirits. Must be a loose buck in the air someplace. Well, if I'm gonna make the most of my hour with Burma, I'd better take off. Everybody's making with the gals except Chaz. Say, too bad you can't come along. We could have double dated. I uh, understand this Miss Witherspoon Burma works for is quite a gal. Just right for you. How come? In her early 60s. Now, uh, let me see if I've got this straight. I'm to check all baggage on the flight to Hong Kong this afternoon. Especially the baggage of an old lady who isn't even a passenger. She will be. That's all you'll tell me? Nothing else? More would be an extravagance of words. Uh, this uh, old lady, you've seen her? I shall hold you personally responsible. Uh, any piece of baggage in particular? Chopstick Joe, you have the curiosity of an old market gossip. You've got me curious, dear. And with me, that's just like being sick. This item of baggage you are to be particularly careful about tea. My old friend, Miss Witherspoon of Vermont, is taking some tea home with her. Tea? You mean to tell me all this hush-hush is just about some tea? Ten pounds of tea, mistress. You made the other purchase? It is here. No doubt you have business elsewhere. To put it mildly, dragon lady, I get your point. Whatever you do, Chopstick Joe, remember your head. My head? You would be most useless without it. Okay, dear. I'll blow. Big wind. Are they not beautiful? It is a pity they must leave the country. I too think that, mistress. Nevertheless, into the tea they go. Uh, foreign madness. A fortune in a tea can. Now you see her, now you don't, Burma. I know one guy who can change that pretty quick, but for now I'll settle for a suitable howdy-do. Right here, in front of the jewelry store? Those little gold bands in the window make it ideal. What do you say we settle for this? The place is ten cent. The hour, three o'clock. I now return you to heaven. Oh, Chops. I just didn't want my flyboy to become a fire hazard. What do you got there, Chops? Oh, tea. I'm getting it wholesale now. It's enough to last you for six months. Economy, my boy. Economy. Bummer, you and your lady friend going to take the afternoon flight to Hong Kong? Check. Say, how did you know? We didn't know ourselves until half an hour ago. Oh, well, you, you know how those things get around town. Hey, how about that, Chops? How did you know? Oh, I'll dig you kids later. <laughs> My name is Homer Zuthers. I book passage to Hong Kong. Oh, oh yes, you're the professor of, um, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Orientology. I've been here on a special mission. You have? Yes. And I've had amazing results. You it's... don't say. Who'd have thought it? I feel I must tell someone about it. Well, uh, try me. I'm the scholarly type. Of course, you're aware of the age-old controversy regarding the meaning of these symbols. Now, you take those five lines. What do they mean to you? 
Uh, Chef Salad without dressing? Oh, good evening, Chef. Oh, you're just in time, Chops. Uh, this is Professor Zuders. Uh, he was just giving me the lowdown on the, the mysteric symbols of the, the Eye King. Uh, <laughs> I quit playing the horses a long time ago. Oh, well, anyways, Chops, you take over. I have to go see the cargo. I'll leave the good professor with you. Oh, good night. <laughs> Bye-bye. Hot uh, shop? Uh, yes, Mr. Chapsky? I think it might be a good idea if you were to show the professor here around the airfield. How about that, Pop? You would like to see how a first-class airline runs? Oh, capital idea. And while we're strolling, we can chat. Yeah, we can chat. Just read what Professor Terry and de la Coupoli has to say. You're a chopstick, Joe. I must say, Verma didn't exaggerate. I don't think I like the way you say that. You're chopstick, Joe the Cube, with a corkscrew mind. That jive talk you must have picked up from Burma. Check. That's one way to you win. Cornball. You're a wheel, lady. What I mean, a real wheel. What, what'll it be? Two ducats to Hong Kong and make them fresh. Boy, your hometown sure ain't gonna be the same when you get back. Man, what Burma's done to you. Crazy, real crazy. I'll teach those squares something or I'm for nothing. Look, sister, I could sit here and yak with you all day, but I got work to do. Oh, don't mind me. I'll just sit here and wait. Mr. Sinju T. Oh, she did remember to send it back her so just put it here. I'll just check that through. Look, you two-bit hood. All baggage has got to be checked through. Oh, he's probably waiting for me to pay him. How much? No money. Dragon lady safe for nothing. You ought to take tea on plane with you, not checking baggage. Tell her I won't get it out of my sight and thank her most kindly for me. I'll, I'll just put it over there on the desk where it'll be safe. This tea remains with me. Well, but... Uh, Somebody's liable to, to trip over it there. No. I can take care of my own things. You may go now. Dragon Lady also say I stay with you till you get tea on plane. Very secret blend. No one must know what she put in it. And Professor Terry and de la Couperie. You can see the fallacy in his thinking. Oh, brother, can I? Hi, Lucky. Oh, good for you, Terry. You leave me with an orientologist and a bum port motor while you're out painting the town. Is this justice? We have had a most interesting talk, haven't we, Charles? Divine bum port motor? Sorely ailing. Would you send it back to the homemade scooter where it came from? Let's take a look at it. Well, I trust I've made myself clear on the White King mystic symbols. I'll hear them clanging in my head for a long time. Plane leaves soon now. You be okay. So help me, I'm going to call the gendarmes. My own office, and look what I've got to put up with. in great excitement. Do not try it again. Do not lock yourself again. I'm beginning to think there's something very strange about this tea. Very excellent tea. I'm getting tired of hearing you two yakking about that tea. Get it out of here so I can go back to work. We stay here. 
Look here, Buster, I'm getting tired of this. Now, either this is my tea or it isn't, and if it's my tea, I choose to go outside with it. That a girl, sister. You tell it. <laughs> haven't I? Temporarily. Uh, what are you looking for, Chops? The tender leaves, of course. They're gone. The emeralds, they're gone. We've got to get them back before the dragon lady finds out. Break it to him gently, chum. She knows. Her watchdog called her. Furthermore, considerable time has elapsed since uh, contact with your skull. You've got to help me. Well, let him worm his way out of this by himself. Look, fly boys, I need help, not lectures. Well, it's a sense you didn't conquer himself with his own cranium. He couldn't have done that good a job. Oh, hiya, beautiful. I understand you're in the tea business now. Having Chop's welfare in mind, we were just on our way out to see about helping him keep his health. You were on your way out. Ten back, please. the child. This has been the highlight of my trip. And to think my tea played such an important part in it. Didn't it, Professor? Hmm? Tea. Oh, yes, quite the tea. About this man who referred you to the dragon lady. Who was he, Martha? Mm, I promised to say nothing. Uh, a woman should always keep her word, shouldn't she, Professor? Oh, yes, indeed. Yeah. Mm. And to think she searched us so thoroughly. Did she search you thoroughly, Professor? Uh, most thoroughly. What are you doing? Girl talk, mister. We're not out to ruin your score sheet. Square! Kurt's getting a little sloppy. If Terry were here, he could take him. Take him? What was that game? Put him out of commission. I wish I could do that myself. I would. It's past your bedtime, honey. How? What have they got there? I always keep this with me. I hid it when the lady dragon searched you. It doesn't work. <sighs> My grandfather taught me how to shoot this. Shall I? No. You only make it tougher for us. You're implying that I'll miss it. Mm -hmm. I should be able to get that gun away from him. Hurry up, Cornball! Put him up! I saw some cloud in the front room. We'll get it. Right. Can, can I help? Yes. Hold this gun while we bundle him up. Down on the ground, boy. I can seldom resist you, Terry. This is one of the few times you will proceed to fly to Hong Kong. Speak up, Chops. Make like you're on the joint. I died ten minutes ago. Do like she says. Not until she tells me where Burma is. Your concern for her is touching. And infuriating, ATL. Your ears would make lovely loving cups for my mantle. Eh, uh, say no more, D.L. Let's go, Terry. Where is she? She is waiting for you at the plane. If she's not, we don't take off. Should there be any attempt at heroics, Chopstick Joe will pay. No hero stuff, gents. Just fly.
One of the three's got them, dear. I do not believe you. That's what I get for telling the truth. What do we do now? We we'll wait here till my guard tries one more method of getting the jewels back. Supposing that does not work? Then we join them and fly to Hong Kong. Uh, fly? You mean you want me to fly? But I'm a sick man, Dragon Lady. I can't fly. I, I've got quadrophobia. From inside, Burma? Oh, yes, she's inside expecting you. That cannon kind of implies you're a party to this. Put your hands up. Into the pilot compartment. I want this ship in the air. Come on, let's go. Bad day for you if the jewels are not found. They must be on the plane. They must be. I hope. They're taking off without us. The guard had orders to wait for us. I tell you, they're taking off without us. Oh, 30 double crossing hills. If you kill me, Dragon Lady, I'll never talk to those guys again. Orientology is pretty dangerous stuff, isn't it, Professor? <laughs> it can be pretty exciting. Especially when you wind up with a fistful of emeralds. You got them, Doc. I have a right to them. They're mine. By virtue of possession? And payment. My avocation is Orientology. By profession, I'm a precious stone commission broker. My professional name is Bartlett. Roger Bartlett. That name strikes a bell. Wasn't there a guy by that name held up in Tansan about a month ago for a tidy hunk of diamonds and things? Twice in the past year, I've paid tribute to Tansan's underworld. I got tired of it. So you thought that by dealing with the Dragon Lady direct, you'd have a chance of getting the stuff out of Tansan, huh? That's right. I became quite alarmed when your corpulent friend became interested in the team. You'll establish proof of this in Hong Kong. Certainly. Say, uh, what about the gals? How about cutting them loose? Oh. I forgot all about them. I do hope they'll understand that I had to get out of Tan Sand. They wanted to stay. Well, uh, tell them all about it, but uh, keep your guard up. <laughs> Hi, lad. Hi. Nice trip. A little confining so far. Hotshot, take an inspection trip, will you? Cargo needs looking after. That's me. Third man, Chaz. The uh, professor said you'd tell me all about it. Well, uh... Don't you dare. Fine. Say, uh, Doc, it'd be interesting to know how you got those jewels past the Dragon Lady's guard. I had them in my hand all the while. Very clever, Mr. Bartlett. Wasn't it, Charles? Very. How's traffic? Oh, nothing to speak of. Signal lights with you? Lots of stars. Nah, that Terry gets all up bricks. Oh, Mr. Lee, he's good looking, but I prefer your type, Charles. Vivacious, considerate, droll. In other words, a living doll. No kidding. You are positively gone, but real gone. Then? Then what? Put it on automatic pilot. Chops is composing a literary masterpiece. Joy can... What did he say, Terry? Can you understand his dialect? He said, see you again. Ho Pung Yao. When illustrious friends... Gather for... 
Tengku Jai. Further exciting adventures of. Further exciting adventures of. of Terry and, and the, the Pirates. Be with us again the next time we take off with Terry and the Pirates and another exciting high altitude adventure.